Hello out there YouTube friends. I am Cindy and this is Sincerely Cindy Settle. This is your place for unboxings and try-ons, clothing hauls, and book reviews. And today I have a stitch fit. So if you are not familiar with Stitch Fix, $20 styling fee, you fill out a style profile, they send you five items in your box, anything you wish to keep, the $20 goes towards anything you wish to keep, anything you don't want to keep. They have a, um, a mailer in here for you to send everything back, easy peasy. So um, I want to say that this is stitch number 15 maybe for me. So if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing down below and liking this video. Check out the end of this video and we will see what I ended up keeping. So let's check out what we have in the box. We have the mailer initially, and this is United States Postal Service. And then we have an envelope and in your envelope, you will have a Oh Hello card. And this is your style note. And also it gives you ideas on how to style your items. So these are items that are in your box and it gives you one to two ideas on how to style each piece. So I love that feature about Stitch Fix. And then you will also have your invoice. There is a discount for, I want to say um, all five items, you get a 25% off discount. So that is what your invoice looks like. It gives you a description of each of your items as well as the price. And then it will break it down for you that if you wish to buy all five pieces, how much you will save and what your final price will be. So let's dig in and see what I have in my bundle. All right, so here's a peek at the bundle. So I do get the uh, fix preview option. I don't know if that is out for everyone yet, but I do have that option. So you get, I want to say eight to 10 items to preview. You can take a look at those items and choose which ones that you want your stylist to send to you. If you don't like any of them, then you don't have to send, but you don't have to get any of them and they will style you a new box. You don't get a second preview. They will just send you um, the items that they have styled for you a second time, or you can choose a couple of pieces and then they will choose three other items to add to your box. Or you can get a complete surprise. Like you don't want to know at all what the preview is. So they will just send you the five items and you try them on and send them back what you don't want to keep and purchase what you do. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so here recently in my um, style boxes, I have been asking for items that will take me into fall as well as items that are good for the office. So my office is kind of like a business casual. Um, I don't have to wear like suits or dresses and dressy stuff every day. I do like to elevate my look a little bit on Fridays, it's more of a casual, um, you know, casual Fridays, like, you know, jeans and that sort of thing. But I don't like to wear ripped jeans to work and things like that. So I do work in the school environment. I'm a school psychologist, so um, I am in and out of different schools. So I do like to look um, somewhat professional. So I did ask for some more work type of items so that I could have um, a little more versatility, especially with pants. I don't have very many pants. Um, in my wardrobe right now to take me into fall and winter. So we're first going to start with some STS blue high rise skinny black jeans. And these are always good. I mean, you can wear black jeans with anything. You can dress these up or dress them down. So those are very nice. So I do think that skinny jeans are kind of on their way out. Um, so I'm not sure about those. Oh, these are very pretty. So these are a plaid, slim leg, regular 16. So you, the preview doesn't really do the items justice, I will say. This is like a, it's a plaid. It's got a, the base of it is dark gray. Then it's got like a purple and a little bit of a lighter gray and then like an orange. It's very pretty. You did not get that vibe in the preview. So very pretty, I'm excited about those. I'm guessing there might be a shirt to match these. That would make me happy. All right. Then we have, what is this? I don't dress maybe? Yes. All right, so here we have a black mar market and spruce dress. So it is a, 
this working buttons? It is a button down. It's got a little bit of elastic at the waist and it's got buttons there on the sleeve so you could roll. Looks like it's gonna be a little bit below the knee. It's an interesting look. I remember seeing this in the preview and thought, not crazy about it, but I'll give it a try because you know, sometimes you wanna step out of your comfort zone and try things that are different. I did actually think it was navy, I think, or green, like an olive green in the preview, but it's black. Like I need more black. All right, very pretty collar. Okay, it looks like this is a dress as well. Cute little wrap dress. Very pretty color, very simple pattern. I have been asking for a smaller floral print, so they did succeed in that. It is a tank dress, which I'm not opposed to. You could dress this um, with a cardigan and some booties for the fall, and it would work right now just as is with sandals. Then we have this very pretty purple top with a very subtle pattern. I'm not sure what kind of pattern that is, but it's very pretty. It's very soft. It's very, it's kind of sheer though. That's kind of concerning, but it's very pretty. These should work with these pants. So we're going to try those on together. All right, there you have it. So let's try some things on. Okay, so we're going to start off with the black jeans. These are a very soft denim, um, very stretchy. They're not at all um, stiff or hard. I mean, they do feel more like a dress pant as opposed to a jean. Um, they fit very nicely. They fit around the waist without any problem. Um, they're very stretchy. You can see that there's some give there. I feel like these look nice and they feel nice. My only concern is sagging as the day goes on in the rear end area. And the, the calves are just a little bit tight and I worry after I wash them that that might be uncomfortable. These would be great with boots um, or booties in the winter. Um, I do like skinny jeans for that purpose. The taller boots are always nice with skinny jeans. So these might be a contender. I'm gonna wear them around and see how they feel in the back, but let me turn around so that you can see how they look from the back. I feel like they're a good fit. I mean, they're not too tight around the waist or anything. Like I said, there is some give here. I just worry about all of this starting to sag as the day goes on, which I'm not a fan of. So I may wear these around a bit just to see and of course the price always plays a role. All right, let's see what we have next. Okay, so next two items, and once I got a better look at these in a different light, the colors are a little bit different. I believe this is more of a navy stripe going through the pants, navy and a light gray and an orange, um, which is very pretty, and I think would be a very pretty color combination for fall. Um, get a navy top, and an orange cardigan um, would bring that together nicely or even a gray top, a navy cardigan or blazer would be pretty. So, but let's first talk about the shirt. So the shirt, I love the collar. I like the sleeves. The split neck is fine. Um, I think I might be kind of over that look for now. Um, I don't know. It has this seam going down the center. Let me get a little closer so you can see the print. So it has a split neck here, which, you know, is a nice look. I just might be over it. I'm, I have several items in my closet that have that same look. Again, I like the collar. It's very lightweight. Um, would be a nice layering piece. However, it has this seam going down the center, which would make it very difficult to tuck in. And I'll show you that in just a second. I just don't feel like it looks quite as flattering tucked in. It seems like it kind of puckers right there when it's tucked see how it kind of puckers right there which is not a good look so i'm not sure about the shirt let me know what you guys think is it a yay is it an a i don't know all right so let's talk about the pants i do really like the pants um 
they are a true dress pant which is kind of what I'm looking for would look very cute with um, a pair of heels um, or a pair of booties you know that kind of go underneath the pant not you know rolling them up or anything like that I'll show you what the length looks like in just a minute but let me um, show you the waist it does have a double button here sorry the cat was getting a little bit too excited about the paper <laughs> Okay, so it does have a double button um, closure here, and then there's a inside button as well. There's no real um, absolution type of um, elastic or fabric here. It's just um, a thicker type of fabric, and it all it goes all the way down, and it feels very comfortable. These are not working pockets. They are just for looks, but I do feel like these are very flattering. Let me pan down so you can see what the um, leg looks like. It's more of a straight leg. It's not a wide leg. It's very appropriate for a pair of heels or like I said, a pair of booties. So here's what the leg looks like. So I feel like it's just a basic straight leg. It's not too big down there, not too little, um, very professional looking. So I do like these. I like these a lot. All right. We have two dresses left, I'll be right Okay, so here we have the first dress. Very pretty, very flattering. I like the silhouette. I actually like it a little bit better on than what I did when I pulled it out and saw it in the preview. Again, I wish it were a different color. I thought it was more of like a dark green, either a hunter green or an olive green, but it is definitely a black, and I'm just not sure that I need another black dress right now. I bought um, a black dress in a recent trend send. It was a maxi dress. I'll link that up above so that you can check that one out. So I'm not really sure that I need another um, black dress. I also have a shorter length black dress already in my closet. So this again has a little bit of a split neck here and it does button all the way down. And these are functioning buttons so you could do that as well. These are working pockets. Little button right here. The sleeves are a, I would say, three-quarter length sleeve, and then you can roll them. There is a button here to secure that with the strap here to secure that in place at the elbow. Maybe. There we go. So that's a cute look as well. Has elastic here to define the waist, kind of flows over everything else. It is right below the knee. You can see that there. Let me do a little turnaround. So I do like it. I mean, it is a different look than what I have upstairs. It look very pretty with um, a cardigan and knee-high boots. It's more of a casual, more casual than my other dress that I wouldn't wear with a cardigan and knee-high boots. Let me know what you guys think. I need to take a look at it from the back as well. If I'm seeing a bunch of lumps and bumps there, I'm not interested in that. But, all right, we have one more dress. This is a contender, even though it's black. I know I'm trying to move away from black, but here I am, another black. <laughs> I just gravitate towards it. I don't know, I love it. Bring on the black. Okay, let's try the other. Okay, so I feel like my stylist did a pretty good job. Another very pretty dress. This is very lightweight. It is a tank dress, um, but it is a faux wrap, which is a silhouette that I like. Um, the straps do cover the bra strap. Everything is covered underneath here appropriately. Has a very pretty v-neck. Let me get a little closer and you can see the print as well. So it's got this turquoise background, and then it's got very delicate white and yellow flowers, which is very pretty. And then you have the V here, the wrap, you know, that gives you a little bit of ruching here. There is a tie here on the side, and it is right above the knee. We do a turnaround. What do you think? 
Is it too much summery? Should I have gotten this like back in the spring? That's kind of what I'm feeling, that it's more of a summer look than a fall transition look. Although, like I said, it would look cute with like a yellow cardigan or yellow jean jacket and booties. Not sure about high boots with it. Booties might work. So I don't know. I mean, it's very cute and I like it. I feel like it looks flattering. Except for maybe that. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Okay, let's wrap it up and read my stylist note and check out the price. All right, so let's get to the wrap up. Let me know down below what you thought of this fix. Thought it was pretty good. I've had my stylus now for a little while. Um, there's been a couple of boxes that I've been kind of like, mm, but I've still kept her. I'm still giving her, her a chance. I feel like she did pretty good with this box. So let's see what she had to say. Hey Cindy, I hope you're having a great summer. I read in your request that you were looking for wide leg, white or navy pants, a navy blouse, lightweight pair of black pants and dresses. Unfortunately, we did not have any wide leg pants, navy blouses, or black dress pants in our inventory at this time. I will continue to keep an eye out for these pieces to send your way on future fixes. Another great option you can always utilize is the shop order feature on our website, where you can browse and purchase specific items that are curated to your personalized style. I noted from your feedback that you like the wrap style dress, but we're just looking for something in a smaller print so I've included this Kaylee dress that I'm hoping will be a match. Pair it with a lightweight cardigan and flats. All my best, Brittany. So she is right. You do have that shop your looks option on the app. I do try to stay away from that as much as I can simply because, I mean, I feel like this is kind of the piece of this that I enjoy is the unboxing and the trying on and the filming and all that stuff. So, I mean, doing the shop your looks, I guess I could do all of that by purchasing it and then just returning it if I don't like it. But I don't know. I kind of like the stylist piece of it. But every now and then I have gotten on there and purchased a couple things when I've had a credit. Um, so anyway, but that is an option. You do have a shop your looks option on the app um, that you can go through and shop items that are curated for you. They will also put pieces together based on pieces that you have already purchased. So for example, I have a pair of shorts on that I purchased from Stitch Fix. If I go to shop my looks, um, they will have pieces that would go well with these pair of shorts if I wanted to buy those pieces. So, but let's talk about this box. So first we have the Kaylee dress. Again, she did hit the mark um, with the small print and the wrap style. I'm a little concerned that it might be a little too out of season. Um, it is $54. It's a contender though, I'm thinking about it. We will see. The black pants, again, not quite what I'm looking for, although I could use a pair of black jeans in my wardrobe, but I do, I am a little bit worried about um, the sagging which is never a good look and these are $49 not a bad price we have the dress pants and these are $78 a little bit more than what I would like to pay but they are very pretty and very cute I think I would get a lot of use out of them in the winter especially and then we have the split neck purple blouse it is $44 and finally, the black dress that I like, but not sure if I need, but it's only $48. So, very good. What do you guys think? The pants and the black dress, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to try them on again. I'll have to look at the footage. I think I am going to wear the black pants around because they're only $48 to see if they sag. And then we'll go from there. But as always, I like to hear from you guys. I like to know what you liked in this fix. Again, I know I've been saying it for several weeks. Um, I am getting ready to film a Natalie Attired. I have a Trump Club coming up maybe. And I think that's all. Oh, and a Prime Wardrobe. So lots of fun stuff coming up. I do still have some book reviews to film. I need to get my notes written down so that I can get that organized. So I do have some fun things coming up. I am hoping to start posting again on Thursdays. Um, just hard to get everything edited 
filmed, all that good stuff. But I am trying to give you more content to take a look at as we're moving forward. Thank you to everyone that has already subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you being here. If you have not yet subscribed and you enjoy this type of content, please give it a like and give that um, subscription um, button a push as well as the notification bell. So I am Sincerely Cindy Settle. I am signing out. Mwah. Thank mm -hmm. you.